Hello and welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios for another broadcast interview with Business Worldwide magazine. Today we'll be speaking to Christian Tadona, an entrepreneur who's fostered innovation at the interface between academia and industry, CEO of BiomedX. The company allows talented scientists the complete freedom of research through affiliation with the University of Heidelberg. Hand-picked students have completed around 50 bachelor's, master's and PhD theses. As a result of Christian's hard work, several successfully completed projects have been transferred to a number of high-profile farmers, including Boehringer, Ingelheim, Roche and Johnson & Johnson. Powerful recognition indeed. Biomedex was started without any public funding, so Christian is now importantly focusing on a sustainable growth strategy. So, to tell us all about the company and its future plans, here's Christian Tadona. Thanks for coming into the studio today. Now, Christian, let's start with what drives you personally and why did you start Biomed X? Thank you, Nadira. Um, my life as a, as a scientist started in virology. I was working with viruses and then uh, did my PhD there. And during my PhD, started my first company uh, and have been starting companies ever since. Uh, so in my chest, basically, there's two hearts beating, one of the scientists and one of an entrepreneur. And then maybe seven, eight years back, uh, I came to a point in my life where I started thinking whether I'm following the right things. And uh, I decided that I want to focus more on impact, creation of impact and, and sustainability. And this means going away from this typical Silicon Valley startup model where you basically start a company with the intention to sell at a very high price and I wanted to build something which creates long-term impact uh, which is uh, you know in Europe we are not very good at doing these uh, short-term startups but we're very good at building these sustainable companies like for example German Merck which has been there for 350 years and is still owned by the same family so we build companies for the next generation and this is why I started Biomedex in 2013 without any venture capital. What makes Biomedex different from other research institutes or incubators? Yeah, um, the most important difference is that uh, it is based on a very unique model which brings to be together the best of the two worlds, academia and industry. Uh, and we do this through a three-step process, very uh, novel three-step process. Uh, the first step is global crowdsourcing. So what we do is we um, post very tough preclinical research questions for which there's absolutely no answer at the moment how to solve those problems worldwide at the best universities and research institutions and invite young uh, early career scientists to apply by submitting a very original project proposal how to solve the problem and through this crowdsourcing we receive uh, normally between 200 and 500 proposals and then uh, we start step number two which is a boot camp so we invite the 15 most brilliant most talented scientists and fly them in for a five-day very intense boot camp uh, where they meet each other for the first time, they associate in groups and we help them to convert this collection of crazy ideas into something we would call uh, an outstanding project proposal. And then on the last day they present in front, in front of a jury and the winner actually is then part of step number three which is local incubation. So what we do is we relocate the winner with his or her family uh, from wherever they come in the world to Heidelberg we organize visa, houses, jobs for their spouses, kindergarten spots, whatever they need. And then they live and work for up to five years uh, in our research center, Biomedex, in Heidelberg. Would you kindly explain what you mean when you say that you combine the best of both worlds? Well, the two worlds are academia and industry. And as you know, academia is a place where there's freedom of research, uh, lots of very bright young people, who follow their passion for science and their curiosity to find out how, for example, the human body works. And, uh, and in turn, industry is very good at uh, very strict timelines, deliverables, at um, validation of research results, basically at, at, at solid engineering of products. And we are bringing together these two worlds, this creativity and, and curiosity-driven research with a very focused approach uh, to do something for the benefit of patients. And we do this by a mentorship program. So every research team that starts at our center at Biomedex has two mentors, uh, very experienced mentors from academia and from industry. 
and they meet with their teams physically once a month and discuss all the experiments and iterate uh, in that way very fast between those two worlds. Which big pharmaceutical companies are working with you and why are they choosing to work with you? So since we started in 2013 with Merck, the German Merck, this very traditional pharmaceutical company, uh, we have started also working with other farmers, for example, Böhringer Ingelheim, uh, Johnson & Johnson, Roche and Abvi, and uh, more are to come soon. And uh, with those big pharmaceutical companies, uh, we are actually uh, running those research projects at our center. And I think what they like at Biomedex is that it's a very unique model, which gives them access to this global brain pool of very talented young scientists and at the same time is a very focused model. But also, meanwhile, uh, after seven years since we started, we have generated a track record uh, that we can attract the top talents from the top schools in the world and also that we can deliver research results uh, which are valuable for those pharmaceutical companies. And why is it so important to attract those top talents from around the world and what kind of talents are you looking for? Hmm. When I uh, uh, started about 10, 15 years ago, looking at the major innovation hubs in the world, trying to understand why are some of those more productive in terms of innovation than others, I tried to understand what's, what's the magic sauce of innovation. And I came to the conclusion that there is basically two major success factors, uh, which might be obvious, but I think which are very crucial. The first one is local density of talent. So the more talented people you have in a room, the higher the probability that innovation will happen. And secondly, and it is as important as local density, is local diversity of talent. Meaning, the more people you put in a room that look upon the same problem from a completely different perspective, uh, the more likely you will get truly uh, innovative solutions. And this is, uh, this is what we combine with Biomedex, uh, attracting these uh, early career young scientists, very creative young minds from around the world, from the best schools, uh, universities and research institutions, and basically combine them locally in this ecosystem uh, where they come up with completely novel ideas. What makes Heidelberg so special for biomedical research uh, talents and big pharma? Heidelberg is by, first of all, is my alma mater, but of course this is not the, the main reason. Heidelberg is uh, the largest biomedical innovation hub in Europe. It's basically one square mile with more than 20 institutes in biomedicine uh, and uh, medical research. Uh, institutes uh, like, for example, of course, the University of Heidelberg, University of Heidelberg Hospital, uh, European Molecular Biology Laboratory, German Cancer Research Center, National Center for Tumor Diseases, Max Planck Institute for Biomedical Research. So very high density with around 15,000 uh, employees working in biomedical research plus 15,000 students. So it's a very vibrant local environment which has internationally very, uh, very good reputation of creating outstanding science. And what are the key ingredients that make your new innov innovation model work? Well, uh, first and foremost, of course, is our unique model, uh, bringing together the best of these two worlds, academia and industry. But also, uh, of course, this does not work in the void. Uh, what these young talents need, uh, and, and you have to imagine we're moving entire families uh, during their most creative years, and uh, they need a local, very vibrant ecosystem, uh, an academic ecosystem with lots of research institutions, with core facilities, with local infrastructure, which is absolutely key uh, for this model. And also, I think we have built a very trustful relationship with those big pharmaceutical companies, uh, which have been working, some of which have been working uh, now with us for uh, six, seven years, and where we showed that actually this uh, new model can deliver. What kind of research are you performing at Biomedex? It's various kinds of biomedical research. The common theme is that we are looking for very original, very novel approaches, how to treat very complex diseases, such as cancer, for example, uh, such as autoimmune diseases, multiple sclerosis or inflammatory bowel disease, um, <coughs> diseases, uh, psychiatric diseases, for example, schizophrenia, depression, uh, or lung diseases like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. These are all very complex diseases that at the moment uh, are treated symptomatically. So basically most of the time um, patients get a treatment which relieve the symptoms, but which, not, which do not 
cure the disease actually. And what we are trying to do in our innovation center is uh, we dig deep down in biology and try to understand what is the root cause of the disease and then find in, in the cells of the human body find these switches, uh, we call them drug targets, which allow us to, um, to uh, take a disease and basically switch it off or cure it. What is your future vision for biomedical innovation in general and for BiomedX in particular? There's one observation, I think, which is true for all industries, uh, which is that uh, these industries are being disrupted at the moment, not by, by innovative products, but by new business models. For example, uh, the world's largest taxi company today, Uber, does not own a single taxi. The world's largest hotel company, Airbnb, does not own a single hotel. Maybe the world's largest pharmaceutical company in 10 years from now will not own a single pharmaceutical. So these companies are very aware of the fact that they, they need new models in order to be competitive in the future. And also, we have um, uh, very interesting times at the moment. Talent is distributed evenly across the world. Opportunity is not. And this was a problem 10, 20, 30 years ago. But with global mobility, every talent can freely choose where he or she wants to pursue a career. This means that every location is in competition with each other to attract the world's most talent, to create this local density and diversity of talent. So I think it's very important for us to create these, what I would call, innovation honeypots, which attracts these top talents locally. And specifically for Biomedex, my vision, my vision would be to, um, to further build Biomedex, of course, in Heidelberg, to become a major institute that creates impact. At the moment, we have 60 people from more than 20 different countries. Uh, there's a lot of room for improvement to become much bigger and create even more impact. But also, since it's a scalable model, to start Biomedex uh, subsidiaries or, um, or uh, franchises on the campus of other universities worldwide to uh, make it even bigger. Thank you, Christian. Thanks for having me, Nadir. Christian Tadona, CEO of BiomedX, many congratulations for winning the Business Worldwide Magazine Award for Biotechnology CEO of the Year Europe 2020. Much deserved. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Nadira. Uh, and also thanks to everyone who supported me. And of course, big thank you to Business Worldwide Magazine.